Granny, what do you think? Oh, it is you. I thought it was a man wearing your clothes. Oh, do you think I might have a drink? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were a waiter. It's only me. I always feel that greeting betrays such a lack of self-worth. has opened a nudist colony at Wickford in Essex. What do you mean a man's opened a colony in Essex? Not that sort of colony, Mama. It's for people who want to take all their clothes off. In Essex? Isn't it terribly damp? Aren't you going to say you're sorry? Certainly not. How you hate to be wrong. I wouldn't know. I'm not familiar with the sensation. Duchess. But why? I don't call you Countess. Certainly not. There's no logic in it. Oh, no, but if I were to search for logic, I should not look for it among the English upper class. Were you a very involved mother with Robert and Rosamond? Does it surprise you? A bit. I'd imagine them surrounded by nannies and governesses being starched and ironed to spend an hour with you after tea. Yes, but it was an hour every day. I was only going to say that Sybil is entitled to her opinions. No, she isn't until she is married. Then her husband will tell her what her opinions are. Oh, Cranny. I was right about my maid. She's leaving to get married. How could she be so selfish? I do sympathise. Plenty of hours in the day. And, of course, I'll have the weekend. We'll discuss this later. We mustn't bore the ladies. What, what is a weekend? Good heavens, what am I sitting on? A uh, swivel chair. Oh, another modern brainwave? Not very modern. They were invented by Thomas Jefferson. Why does every day involve a fight with an American? I'll fetch a different one. No, 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 no. I'm a good sailor. When I'm with her, I'm reminded of the virtues of the English. But isn't she American? Exactly. I'm not being ridiculous. No Englishman would dream of dying in someone else's house. Especially someone they didn't even know. So I told her I could do it. What? I said I could drive the tractor. Edith! You are a lady, not Toad of Toad Hall. In my day, a lady was incapable of feeling physical attraction until she'd been instructed to do so by her mama. I don't believe that. She won't want to get involved. When you talk like that, I'm tempted to ring for Nanny and have you put to bed with no supper. I suppose Cousin Isabel is entitled to put up an argument. Of course she is. She's just not entitled to win it. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.